basically the main character from Tomb Raider. I am inspired by Angelina Jolie, y'all. Like, she is, she just looked like a bad bitch in the movie. And it's also a really cool video game, so I thought I would, you know, bring out the inner gamer. So this is my first attempt at cosplay, you guys, basically. And yeah, so let's get started with this makeup. As you guys can see already, I already have like my base makeup on. I need to, you know, recover this pimple. But basically what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna darken up my eye makeup a little bit, add a little bit more contour, more blush, add a gloss, and we're gonna go in with some fake blood. Cause y'all already know like, she goes through a lot, if you know who the character is, she's always running around, she's dirty. So I need to actually go outside and get some dirt. Then again, I could just use brown eyeshadow. Let's probably go with the brown eyeshadow and not put dirt on my face. I'm already breaking out enough. We don't need to do the most now. My friend is going to be here in less than 30 minutes. So I need to, you know, get ready, be finished, and get ready. Because I'm going to be doing her makeup. She's going to be a zombie because she wasn't prepared like, you know, the rest of us. I'm just going to turn her into a zombie. So let's get started with my face. So my hair is not done. I was just kind of like messing with it, seeing how I was going to do a braid. My bangs keep flying forward. So if I keep poking at them the entire video, I'm sorry. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Morphe 25B palette and I'm just going to darken up my eye makeup a little bit. I keep looking in the viewfinder and I'm irritating myself. You cannot stand when I watch people videos and they're just staring at themselves in the viewfinder the entire time. I'm like, bitch, look at me. Like, I know you can't really look at me, but like, look at the camera lens so I feel like you're looking at me. So currently on my eyes, all I have is this color and this color. So what I'm going to do is take a little bit of this brown and then this reddish brown over here and just kind of create a bit of a smoky eye. I am so excited, you guys. Your girl is going to frat parties. I've been to a couple in LA and honestly, frat boys... College boys just trigger me to the max. They just make me feel like I don't want to be there. So hopefully this is a good time and it's a good experience because drunk college guys are not fun to be around. And I am wearing shorts, so. And I know this is gonna sound really fucked, but I mean, shorts, when you're drunk, equivalents or equivalates to is that a fucking word but if I wear shorts and I'm at the club or I wear shorts and I'm at a party apparently it's lingerie all of a sudden and that means I'm up for grabs bitch if I walk out in my underwear I'm still not asking for it and I know some people might be like then don't dress like a fucking hoe cover up more maybe people will get all up in your fucking face Vanessa your tits are out put them away um or maybe I'm just trying to feel cute or whatever so ladies do not feel like you need to cover up for the sake of other people. If you wanna show out, bitch, if you worked for that body, bitch, show it. And if someone gets too close, grab a glass and break it on his forehead. <laughs> Honestly, like if anyone tries me tonight, I will end up in jail. Like I've talked about this before. Um, if I don't go to college, if I don't find a job, I'm going to prison. So today might be the day that I get that cute ass mug shot. Have y'all seen that picture of that girl? Like it says love is pain in a tattoo. And like she's like a little chola or whatever. And people are like making a big hullabaloo to like get her out of jail because she's cute or whatever. So I'm hoping that y'all come through that when I end up going to jail, y'all start a GoFundMe and try to take me out. I'm gonna take a little bit of this highlighter and put it on my inner eye corner as well because bitch, we're gonna be doing flash photography tonight. We're going to need glitter, we're gonna need glow. So as you can see, I just darkened up my eyes just a little bit. I'm gonna take my mascara and just apply a little bit more. I'm not putting any eyeliner on. I don't like the way I look with eyeliner. I tried putting it on the other day and it did not work out. I just completely washed it off and did my makeup again. Like yeah, it ended up, you know, I did a cute little wing, but I just can't wear eyeliner. I feel weird with it. I feel like I'm wearing too much makeup and that's just my opinion. Um, some people are gonna be like, Vanessa, shut up. But no, like that's how I feel. Like I feel like when I, <coughs> why can I not talk? I feel like when I wear eyeliner, it becomes too much. That's also why I don't wear false lashes anymore. I don't know, maybe your girl is just turning into a naturalista and eventually it's just gonna be mascara and eventually I'm just not gonna be wearing any makeup at all. I know some people like to wear makeup to like make themselves look older, but I honestly don't wanna look older. I am 20 years old, I'm about to be 21. I wanna look 20 or 21. I know like, I don't know, I really don't know why. Why would you wanna look older? Cause then bitch, when you're older, then you're gonna look even older. And then by the time you're 25, you look 43. So I really don't wanna go down that path. My mom doesn't even look 43 and she is 44. So I really don't want to, you know, do the most. So I'm gonna take my contour palette wherever it is. Bitch, where are you at though? Um, 
It's all the way over there. So we're gonna just go ahead and use this cheap bronzer because I don't feel like moving five feet. That is really, really sad for this. Like, really, really sad. So I'm gonna take this super fluffy brush. This is an M439 brush by Morphe. And I'm gonna take this bronzer and I'm just going to apply some underneath my cheekbones. Wow, this bronzer is ass. No wonder my mom gave me this palette. Why would she give me something good? She knows that she got rid of this. She was like, no, I'm just getting rid of old makeup. No, you gave it to me because you don't like it. <laughs> but hey, sis, I'm, I'm using it. Free makeup is free makeup. I'll take what I can get. Put some on my nose. Put some around the face. And this is when we get into the deep shit. I'm gonna contour my titties. <laughs> I have never contoured around here before, but I feel like being a little extra tonight, and you know I maybe try to cop a medical student. So let's go ahead and make sure that, you know, <laughs> I get married. <laughs> Please, you guys, do not take me seriously. I am so disgusting. Uh, disgusting, and I'm illiterate. Please do not like listen to anything I say. I am honestly one of the worst fucking examples. But for some reason, people tell me, you're an inspiration, Nessa. For what? <laughs> being a thought? Okay, so let's add a little. I love how like pale my tit is just in the corner like you're gonna see nothing but bronze and just like pale right there I remember watching a video on Kim Kardashian's app I remember signing up for like the seven-day free trial and she was talking about contouring and it was like contour here and then apply highlight right here So bitch what you think I'm about to do right now, so I'm gonna take some highlighter I'm gonna put it on my tit. Oh Oh wow, that actually looks really really cute. Put some on the other one too. Oh my gosh, who puts makeup on their tits? I'm gonna put a little on my collarbone. I am gonna add blood and stuff to this area. So, I mean, I'm just adding something for some extra glow. I wonder if that even made a difference. Like, I should have looked in the viewfinder before I started and then put it on. But, do you guys see a difference? Do I look enlarged? I'm also wearing an up bra right now. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that brand. No, this is not sponsored. But, a lot of YouTubers make videos about these up bras. I can't remember if I've made one, I probably have. But literally, you guys, it takes you from being flat to this. You guys, I have no tits. So, dear future husband, when you take my bra off, there's nothing there. Because you guys, this is all a fucking illusion. There's so much padding, but I don't know how they made this. Okay, you know how like when you see some girls in push-up bras and it looks like there's like a huge like bubble and then it's their tit and it looks weird? Like, you know those push-up bras? This one actually keeps your boobs like rounded like I love it definitely recommend this more than the bombshell bra from Victoria's Secret no I don't have a coupon code to help you out I've had this bra for like almost two years and it's still working I had another one but I broke it aka my dog chewed it up thank you Penny just staring at me while I do my makeup but okay so we definitely bronzed up the look a little bit I'm so sorry I keep looking in the viewfinder I'm honestly annoying myself too by doing that from the same palette there is a cheek glow so I'm just gonna take that pink and I'm gonna put that on my cheeks. Let's add a little bit. Not the best fucking blush either. So we're gonna add a little bit there. And add some more because it barely showed up. Where's my palette? I have a palette that I use for blushes all the time. But I really, you know what? Hmm, should we do this? This is Riddick Matchstick by Fenty Beauty. Should I just take a little bit of this on my brush and apply that? That honestly might work a lot better. Let's see. Here's to messing up my face. Okay. That worked a little bit. Okay, so now I am about to go in with the deeper stuff. I have the deeper stuff. Actually, I'm not done. I want more highlighter on my cheeks. I went into Ulta to go and pick up um, a brand new hairspray and some dry shampoo because I'm going to need a lot of hairspray to keep my bangs out of my face. And I got some bobby pins. But bruh, I did not even realize that, okay, so when I was in my car going, I remember going like this to my nose, like scratching it up, and when I got back in the car after I went to Ulta, I had a huge line, I literally wiped all my makeup off, and I went up in Ulta like that. It is what it is. So I have these two liquid lipsticks, I never use these just because they're personally not my favorite colors, but this is in the color... Fortune? I thought it was in torture. I was about to say it. That goes with the mood. So this is in the color Fortune and this is in the color XOXO. These are both Tartiste Tarte lip paints. Like I said, I never use them, so I'm going to use them today as basically dirt. And then I'm also going to be using this and my Naked Heat palette. Just because these both have like reddish tones and browns, so I'm going to try to recreate like a bloody kind of look. So first, 
I'm going to take, fuck, what am I doing? <laughs> I don't know how to put makeup on. So I'm gonna take this little brush and I'm gonna put some brown liquid lipstick on there. And I'm gonna kinda like stencil it on my face as if it is, you know, a head wound or dirt basically. Okay, this is kind of working. I love Halloween, oh my gosh. So now I'm gonna take the red one and I'm gonna take some of that on my brush as well. And I'm gonna blot that on top. I just basically want it to look like I have some sort of head wound going on. And then on top of this is going to be fake blood, so it is going to blend a little better. But I am going to go in with some shading color. So now I'm going to take my Morphe palette, and we're going to use the same brush because I'm dirty. And I'm going to just take a brown eyeshadow and start to kind of like blot that on the corners of my injury. So what are you going to be for Halloween if you haven't gone out already? I know. Halloween isn't for a couple more days, so all the kiddos are not, you know, going out or, you know, dressing up yet until the actual trick-or-treating time arises. But if you're going trick-or-treating, what are you going to go as? If you are not going trick-or-treating, are you just going to hand out candy? What are you planning on doing? Me, personally, I haven't been trick-or-treating since I was 17 years old. That was the last year that I went trick-or-treating because I told myself... And my parents told me, they're like, sis, you're getting too old for this, like, stop. But bruh, I want free candy. Free. But now, as an adult, the only candy I'm able to get is the 75% off candy at Walgreens. But I ain't complaining. It's 75% off. So that is the only candy that your girl is going to be munching on this Halloween. So here's the gag about the person coming over. I kind of dated her. <laughs> so there's a little bit of tea behind that. Um... She's kind of my ex, but we're still friends. She's the first girl that I really, 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 really got, like, I guess you could say, open with. Like, I told my mom, Mom, this is my woman. It was a really, really, really interesting time of my life, just because I had not come out yet, and I wanted to be out. This is also when my hair was really short. So I feel like I definitely need to add a little bit more. Like, yes, sis got hit in the head because, you know, she was acting a fool, but I feel like I need just something more. So I'm going to take the brown and we're going to put a little bit on the collarbone as if I got, you know, a bit of an injury right there. Then I'm going to mix the red in before I even go ahead and blend it. Just make it a faster process. So what was I for last Halloween? I was the purge. I don't know if you guys remember that photo or that little video. Actually, I went trick-or-treating last year. What am I talking about? I literally went trick-or-treating in Hidden Hills with um, my friend Chelsea, Jana, Licia, um, Steven. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said I didn't even go trick-or-treating. Yes, I did. I literally went with them, and who else did I go with? And then I went to... <sighs> Let me spill some tea real quick. I literally went to a Halloween party. Okay, so my boyfriend cheated on me, right? My man's cheated on me. So I was like, you know what? Fuck that boy, if I see him at a party, I'ma fight him. But I gotta make sure I look cute, just in case. I didn't look cute. I remember wearing, like, leggings or something, and I wore a big giant flannel, and I only put the collar, and I let it, like, open with a bra underneath, and I had, like, this chola makeup going on. It was very sinister. I did not do cholas well. I did not show them the respect they deserve. I looked very, very sickening. But, sis went to that party and who did she run into? Her ex. And what happened when she ran into her ex? He kept following her around the party. It was not a good, it was not a good time. And then who texted me at the end of the night? Wow, you looked so pretty. My fucking ex. So that is what I did last Halloween and hopefully, oh hopefully, I'm not even in the same state. He ain't gonna make an appearance. And your girl don't got no exes in Arizona besides this girl because everyone else that I've ever dealt with move so i'm gonna be very safe tonight so as you can see did a little a little something something right there i kind of want to let's add some purple to it i feel like if i add some purple it'll look a little more realistic so i'm gonna take a purple eyeshadow and just go around it just because whenever you know you get injured you get that purple bruise i'm gonna add some purple to my forehead as well just because it looks a little red or too reddish. I'm gonna take purple and I'm just gonna do 
you know, I don't want to look like I have a hickey. I was going to put it on my neck, but then I realized it's going to look like I have a freaking hickey. So I'm going to take the purple and I'm just going to do some light bruising throughout my arm. Oh my gosh. This look, this look looks legit. Team 10 drama who? I'm the one that put the bruise on her. Bruises around my body so I look like I got in a fight. But when I got in a fight, I didn't come out bruised at all. <laughs> gosh, this low key. Oh my gosh, wow, that looks like. So now I'm going to add the fake blood. This is the scary part for me just because. What the hell is in there? There's a makeup brush in here. I haven't used this bottle of fake blood since last Halloween, so I am very confused as to why I have a brush in here. Let's take some blood. Ah! This is honestly like the best part of this all. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna add it now. I'm not gonna leave for a little while, so I'm probably gonna have to end up adding more, but hopefully this blood dries very well meaning that it looks like old blood, if that makes sense. Like if you fall down and you have that like old crusty blood on your knee, that's what I need. Oh my gosh, wow. Should I go into FX or FX, SFX? Looks so bad. <laughs> I love how I'm acting as if I'm doing like such a good job, but in reality, I mean for Arizona standards, everyone's gonna be a bunny. Everybody's gonna be a fucking, um, there's gonna be Hugh Hefner, there's gonna be bunnies, there's gonna be devils. Uh, angels and lingerie, the basic shit. So it honestly makes me feel good that I'm like doing something a little different. That's how I always was growing up. I always wanted to be different from the other girls. Like I said, I was a chola, everyone else was a lingerie. I did definitely do a little lingerie look last year too. I had three different costumes, I think. But oh my gosh, the Purge costume was my favorite. It was honestly so fun going around and we were in a group of people with our masks on so we scared the shit out of a lot of people. I honestly think I didn't do too bad of a job, right? And the boobs look a little, uh, look a little out there. <laughs> you like the boobs? If anyone knows what that reference was, you just won my friendship. Then again, who would want it? So I don't know what else I'm going to do. I'm gonna add something on my lips for sure. So for my lips, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty lip gloss just because it's the most natural looking lip gloss, but it also adds like a little bit of color to your lips. So I'm just gonna apply a little bit of her. It's just, yes. Mm -hmm. And it smells and tastes good. Now I'm gonna conceal this pimple. My friend might be here. Yeah, I think my friend is here. So that is basically what I'm doing. Sis is gonna have to wait, this is important. Now I'm gonna take some powder, apply it to my chin, because like I said, I've got this giant pimple going on and I really don't want my makeup to melt off and I get left with a giant pimple sticking out. So this is basically my Halloween makeup, as you guys can see, I'm Laura Croft. I will include a little picture so you guys can see what the whole costume looks like put together, but girl if you don't stop. But this is basically my costume. I'm super excited, I hope you guys enjoyed this. But I'm super excited to go out and have a good time. Hopefully your girl doesn't, you know, end up in a bush. But yeah, I hope you guys all have a safe Halloween. Thank you guys so much for coming to my channel and checking out this video or whatever. And I will see you guys all in my next one. <laughs> Bye. Okay, wait.